adapt and move on. Adapt and move on. Make a little adapt. Move on. Woo! Good morning, Prigo! What's happening? Why am I getting deja vu with this, Grant? It's here. It's now. It's game day. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, back in action, Tuesday night. You know I love these ones. As we make our way down the A1, it will take us about an hour where we are away for this midweek fixture. It's Amersham Tan, the Letcher of Garden City Eagles in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. When you're happy because you've got Monday at the window. <laughs> But then reality kicks back in and you're away on a Tuesday night. <laughs> but anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get to football. No! <laughs> Amersham Town finished 13th last season. It currently sits 7th after 7 games, where they've won 4, drawn 2 and lost 1. Stuart Atkins. Now, depending on when he actually took charge, either on the 13th of June, which will give him a 50% win percentage, or if he's taken him since the beginning of the season, it will give him 57.14. Here's what Amerson's stats look like. I don't care about the I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 2nd of the 4th, 2022. Amersham Town 2, Letchworth Garden City Eagles 1. The remaining Usain Bolt with our only goal. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grind. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Up the Eagles! <laughs> Pictures on the park. Pictures. Let's go. Let's the boys. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Blood has just gone in forward. I didn't know Sunny. Defender. Dempsey Thomas. Defender. Leo Knox. Defender. Tyrese Spence. Defender. Danny Charles. Midfield. Mike Smith. Midfielder. Carl Oswald. Midfielder. Sunny Cookman. Midfielder. Mark Summers, striker. 
Richard Marvel, defender. Play that centre forward. Sam James. You have to listen to the information fitness with him. Come 60, 70 minutes in and off. Trust me, just trust me on that. We have start sharp, don't give him anything. Conditions of the pitch affects the game. So try and do the right things. And with moments to go before the kickoff, Sonny has done to Groove Armada. I see you, baby, shaking your ass. As we are ready to go, and the remaining Usain Bolt is off. Doy lifts it long. Very even for the first 10, 15, nothing to worry about. Hang about, there's been a back pass. Summers is through, it's one and one. He squared it to Sonny. Sonny looking to have a shot. The block has been made. Summers can't believe it. Great chance for us. That's with the ball over to the top to Summers. That control was not very cheery on S. That's why he's a Spurs fan. The non league patch of the air with a lovely tackle with those long legs plays a little one two with Sonny. Sonny is through on goal, he's driving down. Summers is in the middle, can he square it? He does not get enough on that. If he does, Summers is unmarked and has a tap in. Come on, boys. For one way traffic at the moment as Max will look to play this free kick into the box. Keeper is punched out into the path of Kleb, who will look to deliver this ball. Adoy is unmarked. Keeper's pushed over, but it's offside. Corner ball to Letchworth. Ball's played in. Adoy, free header. It's in. Yes, 1 0. Goalkeeper, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. And that is Letchworth Garden City Eagles taking the lead. Get up, that. So a bit like last week where we got bored of attacking all the time. Before Amersham, you can have a crack as the ball's played into Putman. Shot off, Nath have a little save. Nothing that he can't deal with. As we look to clear our lines, ball's bouncing around at the moment. Amersham's divvering on the ball. Max would say thank you very much. He's having a little lie down. He's tired. He's done a lot of work. Bless his heart. As we will play this ball into Hleb. Ball back into Max. Max through to Summers. Summers is through. It's two on one. What's he going to do? Is he going to square it? He's put the amateur player on his ass for a hot dog. The keeper saved that with his leg. He's just stuck that out. That could have been 2-0 that easy. As Amersham will then lift the ball upfield. Oh, oh no, we can't rest now as it's end-to-end -end stuff. As Putman will collect that ball. He turns around like he's on Strictly on a Saturday night. He ain't better than Tony Adams, though. As he tries to fight off a tackle from Danny. Looking where is these players as he decides to give that ball away to the remaining Usain Bolt and we're on the counter-attack again. What the fuck was that, Flav? Oh, that was exciting. I think I need to lie down there. Eh? Number 10 for Amazon looking for a pass or a shot. As he fakes it, he cuts back inside. Looks to play a 1-2. He's sandwiched. Max will then nick that off of his feet and then look to break the ball forwards. Outside of the boot into Summers. Summers looking where his options are as a diag is played all the way over to Tyrese. Terrible touch and that's it will go for a throw in. Summers with Flav to the right of him, he's seen him. He's got no one around him for four miles. He has a shot. Keeper saves. Nice and easy. Come on boys, these chances, we've got to put them to bed. Mistake at the back has put Putman through as Dempsey went sliding in for an hot dog and Putman has just made it 1-1. Flav scratching his head, he couldn't believe or understand how that mistake come about. Shocking. Amersham with a short corner, driving in on our box. Poor touch there by Putman. A door having a tussle. They're claiming a penalty. The referee saying no. Get on with it. Ball lifted, iron long. Counter attack is on with the remaining Usain Bolt driving in on goal. I don't know why Summers is up his ass. He should be in that box. We've got a square pass. And Sonny has just put us 2 1 up. Get in, back in front. Give us the World Cup. <laughs> and that's the first half done with. Whereas Amersham Town 1, Electric Garden City Eagles 2. Get angry, start fucking elevating and yodering and fucking all that shit. You have to kill games off. You've got to back in the fucking game. Got to fucking kill them off. The fucking tempo you set was fucking brilliant. Absolutely nailed it. And now they're back in the game. Your press was perfect. And now we're fucking under an R and you set the game because you wanted it. Come on, have some fucking bollocks. This is what a fucking winning team's about. Kill them off. 
Go out second half, B, complete your passes. Four passes given away, get your touch sorted out. You've set a fucking standard, me and him talk about it all the time. You're here, don't go down there, fuck off. We work too hard to be here, have some fucking bollocks. Listen, yeah, yeah, you've got these guys. Listen, you've got these guys. But what you now we have to do is we'll take the ball a bit more. He's the only one in midfield. They've got one ball, he goes out from right to left to the number 11. You're not reading it. Every time he's got the ball, there's a problem. Once they give it to number nine, don't disrespect this guy. He's a quality player. That's why he's scored his goal easily. We have to congest the space. As that ball's in the air, we have to be on 11 so he does not play that ball. Every time we put pressure in a final third, the other one's five opportunities to score a goal. 2 1. They're still in it. We have to score next. The only people losing this game is you guys. If you allow them to get in it, they're going to be in it. So back in the second half, fuck them in this game. Come on, boys. Come on. Fuck them in this game. And we shouldn't look good to start the second half. A couple of players are a bit eager and already in their half. No, we won't call it back, ref. Yeah, no, we'll just make up rules as we go along now. I mean, who needs them? What was the whole point in the FA? Doyle lifts this long. Mark Summers has turned into the Romanian Usain Bolt. Meow! Fantastic bit of speed. Looking for his options. Plays it back into the non league patch of Vieira. We'll play the ball across. Tyrese has allowed the Amishan player to come and grab that instead of meeting the ball himself. Onion Head is not satisfied with that passage of play. Amersham's turn to play a long ball. Seen out by the Kiwi International into the path of Max. Looking around for his options. Always oh, fed through Alexander Head. That's a lovely little ball, but the goalkeeper saw it. He was on his toes. Number 11 for Amersham bursting forward. He's done Carl. He's sent in for an hot dog. But Adoy comes cleaning in and goes, thank you very much and get the fuck out of my way. But Amersham win the ball back. Long ball played over. Looking to drive forward. Cut inside of Flav. But not in front of Slabhead who will intercept and say thank you very much. My number 11 was still having a little cheeky lie down. Amersham plays short corner to number 10. Tyrese nowhere near his man. Shots deflected off a of Carl. It's bobbled up. Number 7 is played across goal. A door to clear. Number 6 with a diving header and there's a penalty given. But number 6 has jumped straight back up so there was clearly no connection. The referees decided to give a penalty, even though Adoy was looking at the ball the old time. All of this could have been prevented if we was marking number 10. Putman from 12 yards, can he make it 2-2? Nath is making himself nice and big. And he's ruffled it over the bar. We still hold our lead. He cannot believe it. Let's have an action replay of that. LOL! As we now focus back on the game, but Amersham driving forward. Max in the non-league, Alexander Kleb hunting in packs. The pressure's got too much as he tries to play the ball back to his defence. Summers with a back heel. Kleb looking to knock it past number six, but it's caught up in the grass. Now, let's start just giving pay. So, Amazon Tank can afford a lawnmower. I know it's tough times. We are coming into a credit crunch, credit crisis. People are not being able to heat their homes. But for God's sake, cut your fucking grass. As Amazon looks to play this ball forward and they cut it through into Putman, number 11. And Putman link up well, but that ball's lifted over the bar. Free kick to Letchworth as Max will take this. Goalkeeper's come to punch. Doesn't get enough of it. Ball lands kindly to Summers. What's he going to do? That's what I do! As I guess I got my answer as he turns number five into a pretzel, but he cannot deliver the ball. Summers on the half volley. Keeper, save. And ball in the build up to this. Free kick to Amersham. Similar strike in the first half to Amersham, but I missed it. Corner from Amersham, played all the way to the back post. His number six is peeled away from Dempsey. But Adoy's in the right place at the right time to flick it over to Sammy James, who will then clear the ball. As we head into the last 10 minutes of this game, we still lead 2 1 with the most handsome man in football crossing the ball into the sunny. Oh, he's knocked it wide. That should have been game set and match. Amersham piling on the pressure now as a ball is played through in between Tyrese and Dempsey. The ball's into the box and it's 2 2. Putman was unmarked no challenge on the cross coming in and Adoy and Theo no communication on where their player was into the last five minutes it is 2-2 Amersham with a dangerous free kick on the edge of our area they've clearly worked on this set piece where they're trying to disorganise us yeah we'll take the free kick no come here you take it we'll run away so two players on the ball then run away to leave it to number eight as that ball's lifted in Nays push it onto the bar shot it's interfected there of their own man we're ball watching once again Cleared by Sammy James. We've dropped into panic mode as we keep giving away free kicks. As Putman would take this, but he bends it around the corner. We are into the dying seconds of this game as the most handsome man in football will play this ball into Summers, but he does not get anything on it as Amersham would lift this ball up into our half. Come out, Nathan! There's been a call from the technical area for Nathan to come out. Absolutely no idea why Putman has beat the offside trap. No one calls keeper, but keeper. Absolutely schoolboy error that. 3-2. And that's the final whistle. What was as to 
throw away was definitely thrown away. Disappointed as you are, I am, he is. He worked hard for that tonight. Chances, take them, they're finished. What happens is they get back in the fucking game and start doing arm wrestles around the fucking park. We had enough about us to win that convincingly and you let them go back in. Fucking disappointed. Heads drop, stop competing. Experience, that's what lost you this game today. The experience side, Eddie. That's what I've got to say about today's game. Right, that's what you've done. Really disappointed with the manner that we lost in against Amersham. We was winning 2-1 with 10 to go. They turned it around, beat us 3-2. We should have took our chances in the first 20 minutes we had three or four really good clear-cut chances we only scored two in the first half coming in at 2-1 at half time where it should have been three four nil after 20 minutes don't take your chances unfortunately you get punished roll on to the next game boys have to work hard and training for the rest of the week and see where we go saturday so the game finished amazon tan three let's with garden city eagles two this one stings this one really really hurts parts of this game they couldn't get near us but individual errors throughout the team is unfortunately what cost us all three points. Amersham adapted to the situation. 2-1 down at half time. They came out, changed formation to a 4-4-2 and they decided to push and commit people forward. So they've adapted and adjusted to the change. We stayed the same and unfortunately it came out to bite us in the ass. Got to move on. Can't feel sorry for ourselves. Next up Saturday, away to Rawns. You know what to do. Tala. Bollocks, fuck it. <laughs> Down, we're gonna ride. Is that you?